Hello everyone. In the previous video, we covered display logic and learned how to set up conditional rules that define visibility of certain questions in a form based on provided answers. We also learned how to enable the read-only mode for individual question or um, question groups uh, to prevent unwanted answers without having to hide uh, irrelevant survey elements. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to dynamically assign values to input fields based on a specified condition using the set value if property. Let's get started. So set value if is a rule of conditional logic that uh, is used to automate the population of form fields with predefined values or responses. And it allows you to assign a static value, um, both numerical or textual, or a dynamic value using a source question ID as a placeholder. So in the property grid, in order to set a value to a field based on a condition, we first need to define a rule that determines when to run an expression and when to assign a value if the expression evaluates to true. And we also need to add a value itself or an expression that defines a value to be set when this condition that, the, that we defined uh, in the previous step when this condition is met. And at the end of my form here, I have two single input fields, uh, text receipt to and email receipt to, and I want to set values to those fields if a respondent selects phone number and email or email in the where would you like us to send the order receipt checkboxes question. And because I already asked the respondent uh, to provide contact details on the contact information page, I don't want to ask them to enter the same data again. And uh, I will do this job for them by sourcing their input from the two items of a multiple text boxes question. And then populating the target input fields with the sourced data if a respondent checks the triggering element of the uh, checkboxes question. So let's first make our uh, source items required. For this, we simply need to uh, check the required box for uh, in the settings of each individual item. And now, um, Let's set a conditional rule that uh, if met will assign a value to our dependent question. And if um, a question with an ID uh, order receipt equals phone number, uh, it will then trigger dynamic assignment of a value to uh, the text receipt to question. And uh, now in this set value expression field, we need to reference the ID of uh, a corresponding item that we're sourcing the value from. And this ID will be replaced with the item value once a user provides a response. And to access uh, a source item value and use it as a placeholder, we need to reference it uh, by appending a path to this value in curly brackets. And in our case, a path to the value only contains the question ID the item belongs to. And in more complex questions like matrix question, a path to the cell value, for example, also contains row and column IDs. So if you manually write expressions, uh, make sure that you use the, the syntax correctly. Um, and now let me quickly configure the set value if rule for the remaining input field, and then we will check it in the preview tab. Right, now let's uh, take a look um, at the, the behavior of our questions in the preview tab. Uh, so we enter uh, an email and a phone number. Yeah, so it all looks good, but if a respondent decides to uncheck either of the triggering chat boxes, uh, the populated values remain, un remain uh, unchanged, which is wrong. And uh, in order to fix this issue, we need to create a conditional rule that will uh, reset the values for the target input fields when either of the boxes get unchecked. Um, so to do this, we need to go back to the designer tab and uh, 
use the reset value if property that allows us to set a rule um, that will reset the value of the uh, text receipt to field. If a user uh, unchecks the phone number uh, box uh, in the check boxes question. And now let's uh, set the same rule for the email receipt to field. And now let's try it out in the preview tab again. Yeah. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. SurveyJS Form Builder has got loads of other useful settings that can help you make your form more tailored to individual user input. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out the demo of SurveyJS Form Builder at our website, surveyjs.io. It's completely free. We don't require a registration to get started.